broadcasting from Woodstock, Georgia. Welcome to Soul Solutions, a show where we overcome our fears and our limiting beliefs. I'm your host, author, and certified life coach, Terry Kozlowski. Hello, warriors. Do you know how to set personal boundaries with others so they don't take advantage of you? Can you see that setting these limits with others is an act of self-care? If you need help, you can take my course, The Guide to Setting Personal Boundaries, on Mastermind.com. The link is in the show notes. This can be the year you have less drama in your life. Now let's start this week's episode. Episode 78. It's helpful to repack your personal baggage to lighten your load. What personal baggage are you still carrying around? For example, outdated beliefs you picked up from friends because you wanted to belong? Or generational patterns of behavior taught to you by your family? How about the lies your egoic mind told you to keep you safe from what it thought was an unknown risk? This month's focus was having a clean slate. And to do that, you need to look at the personal baggage you've been carrying around, which is causing you undue stress. For example, unresolved issues from your past, disappointments, missteps, or trauma are a heavy load to carry into your future when you don't have to. You don't want this personal baggage to cause you to react from a place of fear. Therefore, it would be best if you dealt with the shadows of the past so they don't affect your present. The more difficult emotional baggage to deal with is the rumination of the egoic mind. This brooding or repeating loops of negative thoughts the ego uses are destructive. However, there are ways to cope with this behavior and clear your mind, outlined in last week's episode, which you can link to in the show notes. So why do you continue to carry things that aren't useful and actually harmful to you? Not your baggage to carry. Most of the stuff you picked up or was placed upon you by others was it necessarily for you to pick up. Keep in mind, as a kid, you were impressionable. You were learning from those around you. Some of the people in your life were excellent teachers, and others weren't. But as a child, you cannot discern which lessons you should follow for yourself. Yes, you inherently know right from wrong. Yes, you are connected to spirit and are willing to follow your heart. But authority and fear for a child are powerful motivators to do as adults desire so you aren't punished or corrected harshly. So, are you still carrying around some baggage belonging to the adults in your childhood? They have passed some of these behaviors down as traditions, customs, and habits within your family. And as a child, it wasn't something you questioned. Maybe now you should. Think about why you're still doing things your parents or grandparents did. Are they beneficial to you? Or are the habits you do out of fear of not being accepted by your family? Are there some aspects you like and others you could change so you have less stress and more joy in your life? You are not your parents. You are a completely separate individual with different needs, wants, and desires. Just because your family believed, did, or taught you something doesn't mean you are to carry it with you. Lighten up on yourself. Now let's look at how you view the missteps you've taken on your journey through life. First, are you allowing the egoic mind to keep negatively talking to you? If so, you need to stop allowing this to occur. Your self-talk needs to be kind. If you wouldn't say it to a loved one, then you shouldn't say it to yourself. How you speak to yourself matters. The inner voice in your head that chatters to you can say things to help you believe in yourself or it can tear you down. You do it every day. Many of you don't even realize it's running commentary, but it significantly impacts your life. Do you recognize the negative self-talk as the egoic voice in your head admonishing you? Telling you what should-haves and could-haves you missed out on, making you feel miserable about your life? The ego's voice keeps you from trying growing, and living your dreams by holding you in a fearful state. When you consciously talk positively to yourself, you're patting yourself on the back. It's the cheery, soulful voice looking at the bright side of things. The heart's encouraging voice pushing you to take a bit of a risk to move towards your dreams. You can't avoid self-talk, but we can alter what you accept as accurate. 
Your thoughts are neither good nor bad. They are. You need to accept them as they come, but you don't have to believe everything you think is true. Eliminate baggage through forgiveness. One of the fastest ways to lighten the baggage I carried was to forgive not only me for the missteps I've taken, but also forgiving others. Being compassionate to myself means I don't allow the egoic mind to remind me of past missteps. Instead, I remind myself I've already overcome that obstacle. For example, I've forgiven my mother for passing on to me her destructive behaviors, like not sharing my fears with others, or the codependent behaviors I picked up because of her alcoholism. Likewise, I've forgiven family members who told me not to share the truth because it would hurt someone else, which caused me to pick up shame that wasn't mine to carry. Have you seen the quote from the author Anne Lamont? Not forgiving someone is like drinking rat poison and expecting the rats to die. When you hold on to the baggage and don't forgive others, you are the one reliving the past. Your ego is enacting scenarios of others harming you. But is your offender suffering because of your anger and judgment? Are they dying from the rat poison you drank for them? No, they're not. They're living their lives despite your pain and suffering. Whether or not you forgive, they are responsible for their actions and part in your pain, even if they don't accept responsibility. So is the forgiveness you give to them or yourself so you can release some of the baggage you are carrying? Let go of the past. It's incredible how much power past events have, both happy and devastating. I know I held on to my past trauma for almost a decade before considering letting it go. But when you hold on to the memories and allow them to keep replaying in your mind as if they just happened yesterday, it deprives you of any happiness in the present. Our brains handle information received differently based on if it's positive or negative. For example, if the experience was upsetting, it requires more processing than if the event was pleasurable. This additional processing time means you can remember distressing events over fond memories, especially when there is a strong emotional connection. The other aspect of the ego is to remember the pain you've gone through to avoid repeating it in the future. So it must remember it for it to do its job of protecting you. If it can't recall past events, it stays fearful of the unknown. Despite not being able to alter how your brain works, you can let go of the negative memories that plague your egoic mind. By releasing the emotional attachments you have to previous events, detachment helps us reframe missteps and helps focus us on the positive characteristics in our lives. It brings our focus to the present moment. Non-attachment allows us to accept what is without angst and eliminates the struggle with our egoic mind about the circumstances. The baggage of mental load. When trying to remember things you have to do or add tasks to your roles and responsibility, it causes emotional labor called mental load. For example, trying to keep up with the parts you play as a spouse, parent, employee, your social media, your to-do lists, and cell phone notifications is taxing. As a result, your focus is interrupted and you waste energy on things causing you stress. Check in with yourself each morning and help free your day-to-day -day life's mental and emotional loads from becoming baggage. Meditation, prayer, gratitude, or journaling are great ways to set your intention for the day. When you ground yourself each morning, you help clear away the baggage from the previous day. Get clarity on what you plan to focus on today. What do you need to move forward? What needs immediate attention? Put together a to-do list and prioritize the items. Then see what can be done on another day and add them to your calendar for a particular date. Once you've pared down the list, take on the first item and stay focused on it for only 40 minutes before taking a five minute break. This is the time your brain can remain attentive without distractions. Then remember to unpack any mental clutter you may have picked up during the afternoon in the evening. Remember, you aren't the roles you play 
or the tasks you complete. This process allows you to restore balance and reset your mind, enabling you to rest at night. Moving forward with less baggage. Everyone has baggage, but it's a choice to carry it around. How can you be clear about who you are when you're carrying around the labels and roles others have given you? Buried under the baggage you're hauling around is your authenticity. How do you know the dreams and goals you have for yourself? How can you embrace them when you are still clinging to the baggage from your past? When you lighten your load, you become less stressed and allow joy and serenity into your life. So open your hands and release the pain and suffering of the baggage you've been transporting around with you. Release the what ifs, the could have been, and others' opinions, the dead weight holding you back. When you accept what is, you can move faster and embrace what is awaiting you. As you become more conscious of your baggage, you can learn to lighten your load by removing some things, repacking others, and reframing the stories you tell yourself. Do you need support to help you lighten the load you carry? Do you want a strategy to help you overcome the ego's limiting beliefs and live a successful life? If so, please reach out to me at terrykozlowski.com and we can put together an action plan for you to create the life you desire. If you want to hear about how I learned to repack my personal baggage, you can do so by reading my memoir, Raven Transcending Fear, available on Amazon. Go to raventranscendingfear.com for more information. Thanks for listening to Soul Solutions with Terry Kozlowski. If you'd like the show and want to learn more, check out terrykozlowski.com where you can find the links to everything we talked about in this episode. Please subscribe to the show so you'll never miss an episode as we overcome our fears and our limiting beliefs.